Hello and welcome to Miller Realty Group's Talk of the Town, Carolinas. I'm your host, Patty Mercer, here at Gold Hill Elementary School for first Lego League regional competition. Let's find out what it's all about. So give us an understanding of what first Lego League is all about. Well, first, first Lego League is a game for uh, elementary and middle school kids where they design and build a robot that has to accomplish a whole bunch of missions out on a board. And that's where it starts. That's where we bring them in. But then, First Lego League is mainly a speaking game where they take that robot and they have to defend it in front of a group of judges who are acting like engineers. And then, and then they do a project that makes the world a little bit better. Mentor. You're a coach, you're yes. a mentor. Yes, I Tell am. me what that means. What, what does that look like in a week or a day? Uh, a, a week or a day, uh, we, we come in and our job is just basically to, to take the kids and basically find out where they're at and kind of guide them towards solutions. Uh, we're not there really to tell them what to do. We're just there to kind of guide them towards where they really should be in their projects. Now, I'm still, my mind is blown because I look at what they have to build. Do you, does it come with directions or is everything from the creative mind of the, of the team? It's right, it's all from the kids. All we get from Lego is just a whole big box of parts and that little brick, the little brain that you see. And the kids have to sit on a board and just design what they want from the ground up. And it's all their designs and it's all their work. What's the name of your team? The Nerdinators. The Nerdinators. Yes, ma'am. The nerd anators. What do you call yourselves? Are you robotics? Are you first league? What? what? We're first league. You're first league. And how old are you? 10. I mean, 11. You're 11. I'm 11. So, what's a practice like? What do you guys do? Usually, we just come in. I am a researcher, and the builders, coders, and drivers go into the back and they test out the codes, build the codes. So everybody on the team has a different function? Yes. Tell me about the teams. What are the ages? How many are on a team? Teams, uh, team members are uh, start around nine and we age out at 14. Darn. And, you know, and, and then FIRST has other programs uh, for older students. There's one up through high school students. How well, often do you guys get together? At, we, did, we started off at least once, once a week. Last week, uh, heading up to the event, we met four times this week just to get ready for it. Each time it's about a two or three hour process with the kids. First Lego League revolves around our core values. And what are those? Uh, teamwork and something that we call gracious professionalism. We want kids to be able to fight against technical problems as hard as they can, just tooth and nail, and yet turn around to the team beside them and hug them and wish them well on the robot table too. So when you go out there, and it doesn't work, like it fails the first mission, what do you do? Um, we say keep going, try your best, we give encouragement to um, the people. Of all the programs that any of us have ever seen, this seems to be the one that really helps kids develop into uh, the kind of people who can make next year work better. Well, what's your job on the team? I know I've heard researchers, uh, decoders. Coder and driver. Oh, now what is yours? I'm a researcher. Okay. We only have two researchers. Okay. So, so and Ben is a researcher. Yes. So the two of you are researchers, mm -hmm. and you're a driver. What does that mean? Um, a driver means that like you code and you set up the robot. So what do you research? We research our problem and ways to come up with it. Our problem is vaping, mainly middle schoolers vaping. Wait a minute. What does vaping have to do with like robots? There is a problem every year and then there's the robots. So does each team get to choose their own topic to research? So um, basically what we had to do is we had to choose a topic that was an issue in Fort Mill schools. Children that are competing here today at Gold Hill Elementary, which has been so wonderful to FIRST and South Carolina FIRST, uh, teams that are competing here today can advance to the uh, West State Regional and from there uh, a handful of teams are going to advance to the South Carolina State Tournament. Wow. At the State Tournament, we are going to be picking some winners who will go to the World Championship in Houston. We're going to pick some winners that go uh, to all these invitationals in different parts of the country and the world. 
One of our teams in South Carolina will be invited to Greece to compete with European teams. Your goal then is to give encouragement. And if you're out there and you're in the moment, do you have to code it again? No. Or just set it up a little? You set it up again and then you choose the code that you want to do. But I'm amazed at how they're building and they're programming. So you're incorporating digital technology into accomplishing these missions. Right. And it it really helps to build kids' self-confidence. It really helps to build teams. And the robot, it, kids aren't going to grow up and program Legos for a living. You know, they're going to grow up and be other things that need these skill sets. But, but our actual code and our actual plastic, that's not the point. It's the experience of working together to build something bigger than themselves finding themselves on a team and going into that table and watching it just completely fail and sometimes watching it succeed gloriously. And what do you hope to do with it? Are you going to do it next year too? I'm going to try out for the middle school um, robotics team. It's called VEX Robotics. First in South Carolina has a large number of school-based teams. We've got a lot of homeschool-based teams. We've got a lot of neighborhood-based teams. If anybody is interested, uh, look up First Lego League, and there are links that will take you down and get you to the South Carolina partner who can give you more information about starting here. Well, that's it for this edition of Miller Realty Group's Talk of the Town Carolinas, brought to you by Fairway Insurance. Hey, if you're thinking of buying or selling your home, remember to call Carmen or visit carolinahomesearch.com. While you're there, you can check out past episodes of Talk of the Town Carolinas. Until next time, I'm Patty Mercer. Bye-bye.